What's up, soldiers? Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Vibes it up in the kitchen as usual. I hope you guys are having a great summer. If you've been paying attention, just about every weekend this summer so far, I've shared um, a refreshing drink with you all. And today is no different. Today we're doing a pineapple orange drink. Great for the kids. I mean, you can spike it up if you want to with some vodka or rum or something. Totally up to you, but this one here is for, uh, you know, PG rated. So we're doing pineapple orange. You're gonna like this one, man. Vibes it up. Before I get to actually juicing the, uh, well, getting the juice out of the pineapple and the oranges, um, let's quickly run through what we got here. We've got two, four, five oranges. You can use more, you can use less. It's totally up to you. I've got, you know, this bottle of Angus Tura Bitters is a good, wow, 15, 20 years old, but we're gonna need a few drops of bitters in there. Here I have some raw organic honey, and I like using raw honey because it's not pasteurized and I find the flavor is a little bit better. And to be honest with you, raw honey, from what I've read, I'm gonna say you may have read something differently, is better for you. The juice of one lime, and we've got that pineapple here. Now, typically if my mom was making this, you would see her uh, remove the skin and the core, and then she would boil that in some water to get some liquid out of it. In my case here, I won't be using the skin, but it is an option if you wanted to do that. I'm just going to dice it up, put it into my blender, get everything out, strain it, and we've got that juice going on there. The other thing we're going to need is some carbonated water, just to give it a nice little sparkling touch at the end. A nice little simple something, orange, pineapple, juice. All I'm gonna do now is put the pieces of pineapple and you will notice that I did leave the sort of core part in there and some of the eyes, well, what we call eyes in the Caribbean. It's still on there, no big deal. We're not eating this. We're just gonna try and extract all the juice out of it. So that is not really gonna cause a problem. Now, learn my lesson from one of the previous juice videos that we did. I'm not gonna overfill this. But to help bring it all together, I am going to go in with some water, just plain old water. And there's that mess again I'm about to make, but we're going to blend this now and then we're going to strain it. Let's bring everything together now. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm using a large bowl here, so you guys can better see it. I'm gonna strain the pineapple. And it's gonna be frothy, it's gonna look yellow. That is cool, what we're trying to do is just get a juice and that's all we care about here at this point. Now, <clears throat> it may take a little bit of working. I have a wooden spoon here and I'm just working it out to make sure we get most of that pulp to remain back in the strainer here. But I'm just gonna go ahead and continue doing that and then we're gonna add the other ingredient. It's all strained off and I'm just gonna skim the sort of heavier foam at the top here and discard that. It's up to you, you guys can leave it too if you want. It's totally up to you all. Next up, we're gonna go in with the, the orange juice that and the lime juice that we juiced. I have here 
the bitters just a few drops of that bitters a little heavy there but say what um, that honey and all the ingredients I use here today will be mentioned down in the description of the video and I'll also post the um, printable recipe as I normally do on CaribbeanPot.com just gonna give that a quick stir just to bring everything together make sure that honey dissolves in there I'm telling you the scent from that Angostura bitters already heightened everything that's going on in here if you want to go in with a pinch of salt in there that will work great and I have here some carbonated water that's to thin things down a little bit obviously it's gonna be a little bit more frothy on the top I'm just gonna to allow that to settle for a minute or two give it a quick stir not to move it around too much because we don't want to kill the carbonation I'm just gonna allow that to sit for a little bit skim off some of the froth that I kind of generated at the top there and I'm going to pour it into the pitcher that I'll be serving it in. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen with me. You can serve it with some fresh slices of lemon, um, a lemon orange in, in, in the pitcher, um, some lime. Some mint will work great in here as well. Taste it before you actually serve it because what I really want you all to do is to ensure that it's nice and sweet. Yes, I did pour it back into the um, the blend tech container but always a pleasure to have you guys here in the kitchen with me orange pineapple juice if you want to add some rum in there if you want to add some vodka in there or maybe a orange liquor nobody ain't hating enjoy the summer guys and remember to stay tuned every week every weekend this summer I'll be posting a new drink recipe for you all <laughs>